Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. What did we learn in the last episode? Well, we learned that burst labor lasers are woefully inadequate for these long drawn out fights that we're finding nowadays. We learned that the word imminent means imminent and to not screw around with it. And finally, we learned that I make terrible command decisions and I probably should not be allowed within 100 yards of outer space. The leading theory is that the loss of my Mantis crew might have been the masterminded plan of Jose. I like that theory. We'll say this was all Jose's fault for kicking him off the ship. I'm willing to go with that. But for now, we've got some scrap. We've got to rethink what we're doing with our life, since we have no boarding party to speak of. I mean, what do we have extra? We've got a slug. We've got an Engi. Yeah, those aren't really uh, good for boarding parties at all. But let's see what we can do. What can we do? What can we do? We could start by just grabbing an extra power bar offhand in case my uh, Zoltan gets taken out and I need the extra power. But what other options do we have? We could... How are our weapons looking? We would need a shit ton of scrap to upgrade our weapons any further. So maybe, for now, just for now... I'm going to pump a little bit of scrap into this in case it helps us out later because we occasionally get some better options for having uh, better piloting and the rest of it we're gonna save because we'll probably need to buy some fuel and we will jump to the next sector and what is our next sector oh look we have a hostile sector or a hostile sector rock controlled or rebel controlled well, neither of those options are great. I guess I'll go through the rock-controlled sector because I think there's some um, ships I can unlock somehow. I'm not really sure how, but maybe we'll stumble on something. And they have an aggressive stance towards alien races trespassing. Alright. Well, hopefully we won't uh, bother them too much but we did find a store immediately, so I'm instantly happy with this. We're gonna buy all the fuel they have from this opportunistic Mantis crew. First of all, fuel. Yes, and thank you. We want to do some hull repairs, and they have drones, which... I haven't really set up for drones, so for now I'm just gonna dump this into repairing my hull and be on my way. We can do a little bit of cruising around here, so I will. Well, I better not do too much because I still don't have a lot of fuel. Ah, we have some extra drones. Uh, no, I don't think I will trade my precious fuel for drones that I can't use. Rather, instead, we're gonna keep jumping. Hmm. If I jump down here, I'll have two options, where if I jump up here, I'll have one option. So, I'll jump down here. Just so I'll have the extra option if I need it, and clearly that was a mistake. Battle stations. Alright. Let's look at this logically. We need to take out their shields and weapons, probably. But they only have two shields. And no teleporter, so if I just flat out uh, take out their weapons, then I can focus on their shields on the next volley. Well, you know what? I take that back because the asteroids are doing a pretty good job. No, no. I want, I want to do this. I want to keep doing this. The asteroids are going to affect their shields, and there we go. That's what I like to see. 
Very good. Now they can't hurt us. Just the asteroids can hurt us. And do a double shot, double volley again. Okay. Alien vessel, cease your attack, we will pay. They will give us fuel and a little bit of scrap, but I am going to blow them up and take all of their fuel and scrap instead. Because I kind of need it, and I'm not hurting for health right now. This could be just the boost I need to get back in fighting shape. There we go. So what did that get me? We still only got one fuel, but we got more scrap. So, let's get out of here. And be on our merry way. Hope I find another store. Get some more fuel. Okay, a disabled rock freighter and two mantis crafts are battling it out. We will attack the surviving mantis who do have a teleporter. So we're going to have to worry about that. And I believe they are already gating in, so let's see where they wind up. Right here. Let's see, who can I spare to go fight them? Right now, not really anybody. But if they had teleported somewhere else, I could have open the doors and choked them out. Hmm. Not sure how I want to how I want to do this. This might be problematic. All right. I'm going to take down the burst laser one. And instead, I want to charge up the breach missiles. And I will get you out of here and blow the airlocks on all these. Yes? Okay. And that should buy me a little time. And I'm gonna get you over here too in case the mantis come in. And oh yeah, I got a slug dude. So if I have to fight, I can fight in the medbay and get a slight bonus, which I will definitely need if I'm going to be dealing with the slugs. And when my weapons charge up, I'll have a little more idea of what I can do. And also charge up those shields. Yes, good. And this mantis is headed towards my pilot which is not good. So I'm going to take all this available crew right here and send them over to here to start fighting. Hmm, I don't think I did this right. Well, <clears throat> kind of hard to concentrate with all this stuff going on at once. So what I will do is I will put my breach bomb into their shields and then attack their weapons. I will make sure the breach bomb goes off first, then attack their weapons. Yes. Okay, my guys are starting to take hits. I'm just gonna take the whole bunch of them in here. And open this up again. Try to choke the bastards out. And my weapon, my uh, stuff's back up. Once again, breach bomb here. Shots into here. That, uh, that worked. And these guys are taking damage. 
So I could send a breach bomb into this room if I have to. Alright. Now I'm going to want to... Oh, they took out my doors, so I'm going to have to repair that or I'll have no oxygen at all pretty soon. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Hopefully it won't be too bad. And I will put a breach bomb right here. Yeah, that took out a lot of them. Okay, see now I've got some options. You there, Engie, you fix this. While you two... Go get ready to teleport over to their ship. And hopefully... I will be able to surprise them before they're able to repair anything. Like that med bay. Yeah. And then you can go and try to finish off that last guy. That last dude. And they did. They made it. We got some extra fuel and a lot of scraps. Okay, that wasn't nearly as bad as it could be. Let's get our doors shut. Let's get our dudes back. Um, get our dudes back. Yes, get our dudes back. There we go. Uh, we'll just... Yeah. Like that. You can go stand back and... Well, let's uh, get him healed up first. The both of them. You just uh, can go back in here where you've got a good central location for now. You go back to shields. You sit around in here. And there we go. Only took one hit. Now, still don't know what I'm going to do with this scrap. What are my options? I could get some more uh, engine power. That would not be a miss. Yeah, I think I'll do that because I really need some more evade going on. Like, big time. Alright, and if we have some more pro- You know what? Just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and get this extra power bar. Because, if this uh, Zoltan gets taken out, I will need it to put back into my shields immediately. Alright, we good. And another store, which is good. Probably should have checked that before I spent all that scrap, but oh well. They have a shitty burst laser and a Hermes missile, but I like the uh, teleporting dealy better. So I'm going to buy their fuel, and I could probably sell some stuff, honestly. I'm probably never going to use this... what am I not going to use? The hull laser. Not likely to use that. That gets sold. That gets us a little closer to our goal of doing some more upgrades. Okay, good. You know what? Nah, nah, I'm not gonna have these guys standing by in the teleporter because I honestly don't like the idea of them being my main invasion force there. So, where can we go now? Let's head down here and look at all the lovely options. This is a bad place. And we are being attacked by a rock scout. So, alright. How do I want to play this? They've only got two shields. I'm just going to go ahead and use my lasers on these guys. Because they also are not going to teleport over. Let's wait for things to charge up. 
Yeah, they're on fire. And while that's down, I can probably kiss my ass goodbye because I'm about to get hit by a solar flare. Okay, got a fire in here. And no really good way to fight it. So you and you, you go fight it. Fight that fire. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, we good, we good. You just stay there for a second. And I will continue to fire at the enemy's weapons. That wasn't so painful. We got some scrap, and let's get out of here before we hit another solar flare. We can go to a few more places, starting with here. Okay, we find a disabled rock transport. We're uncertain why it's there. See, now we can use our slug crew to check for life forms. Let's do that. Ah, we're being warned of an approaching ship by the slug. And we hasten to leave, and we don't have to fight anyone, and we get a ton of scrap. That is awesome. See, now we're getting to where we can start uh, doing some more cool stuff. Not sure exactly what it's going to be yet. I might wait till I find a store and see if I can get some better weapons. Now uh, let's jump here, 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 and here. I think. Okay, what do we got? A rock fighter. Okay, they've got some decent shields. They are fearsome pirates. So, for this I'll be wanting those breach bombs to take out their shields, then do a laser volley. Looks like they've got some scary looking weapons. Come on, Breach Bomb. Alright. Put this here. And get ready to fire at the other thing, which missed completely. Well, I can keep doing that. Hopefully it'll work. It would help if I paid attention. I really need to be watching down here so that I can do what I need to do the second they charge up. Not that I always know exactly what I need to do the very second they charge up, but I am gonna take a laser shot here while their shields are down. That hurts some of their dudes. And I'm gonna wait and see where these guys stop. They stopped in the med bay, they get a missile in the med bay. Yeah, see, now, now these guys can maybe take that very last rock guy. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how he's doing after I hit him with a burst laser right here to take out some of his hit points. And then we are going over yonder. These rock guys are no joke when it comes to melee, so I might have to get my guys out of there. My slug's going down quickly, but I think we're gonna make it. Come on! Yes! We took their fuel and we took their scraps. Awesome. You guys, come on back. I never thought that a slug and a Zoltan would be my main boarding party. That's very strange. Very strange indeed, but it seems to be working for the moment. As soon as you get healed up... You know what? You can just, uh... No, wait. A, a slug and an Ingi. Yeah. That's probably like the worst boarding party you could come up with, just about. 
but I don't really have anyone else. Okay, what did I say I was going to do as far as uh, weapons go? Am I able to upgrade my weapons yet? I will need 125, and then another 60, so 185 total. If I want to do anything major with my weapons. Which I have enough. So, I might as well go ahead and do that. And now, I can just uh, keep everything on. And I have one extra power bar. Which I can put into... Something. I'll just save it. Okay, then we go down here, here, and the exit. It's a plan. Okay, a distress beacon from a civilian ship. We can use our improved weapons to fire a warning shot from our strongest weapon. Alright, fire a warning shot across their nose. Oh, I guess that scared them away. Well, we don't have to fight them, I guess. I kinda, I guess I should have fought them, but now we know what that option does. And then we'll go here. No one bothers us. And to the exit. Where we find... Nothing. Alright. Oh, wait. We find a mercenary for hire. Eh, uh, it's kind of late, so, um... We could fight them. We could fight them and take their stuff. Let's fight them and take their stuff. Yeah. With our new weapons that we have. Okay, what do they have? They got shields. They got weapons. And that's all I need to worry about. So let's get our shit charged up. Breach their uh, shield, then burst laser their weapons. Wait for it. Wait for it. And double volley. Yeah! That worked remarkably well. So how do I want to do it now? They still don't have many shields and I can keep their weapons down. If I can keep their weapons down, that'll be good enough for right now. Which it was. Oh, they've got woes and troubles. Hmm, I could try taking their dudes out, but... They've got a lot of dudes, and... I don't. So, now I'll just fire at their shields for a while. I don't think their weapons are coming back anytime soon. Uh-oh, they're trying to escape. Good thing I had this saved up. Aw, oh, it missed. It missed, it missed, it missed. Alright. We're gonna have to hope we hit them. With this double volley here. We did! We delayed their FTL. Look at all that fire that they are on. They are on a lot of fire. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should just wait a second and... Nah, let's take them out. Uh, they offer us one fuel, one missile, and 21 scrap? I don't think so. You guys are about to be the toast. Let's just do this. Yeah! See, we got considerably more stuff. There we go. A victory has been won this day. A victory not for decency, but for me fighting through after a really shitty last episode. But I think that will do it for this episode, so until next time, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink. In space!